RHYS McKee's first stint in the UFC was a short, lived one, and he's determined to prove he belongs in the promotion second time around. The Northern Irishman was given his marching orders after just fights in mixed martial arts top promotion back in 2020. McKee was thrown to the wolves against welterweight and now middleweight title contender Kamzat Chimiev before given a difficult dust up against crafty veteran Alex Morono. The UFC brass decided they'd seen enough after his defeat to Morono and sent him packing, which prompted a return to cage warriors. It wasn't long before he rediscovered his form of old and captured and defended the cage warriors 170-pound strap, which paved the way for a second UFC call-up. And he's vowed to showcase what he's really capable of in his second Octagon debut on Saturday night at UFC Paris. Skeletor told Sunsport, obviously, Chimiev, at the time, was the unknown. But I'm going to tell you now, I beat Morono nine times out of ten. And that one time he beat me. What's happened since and how I've come back has shown I can overturn these results and I can overturn these fights. The skills I've developed and the fights that I've had have shown that I'm coming back a better athlete. Despite there being absolutely no shame in losing to Chimiev and Morono, getting axed from the UFC was a huge psychological blow to McKee. It was hard but I feel like that was the lesson I needed, McKee admitted. And I feel like it happened for that exact reason. I was young, I was 23, I'm in the UFC and it's everything I've ever wanted. But I was still making bad decisions. When I fought Morono, I challenge anybody in the world to go and find another fight where I've performed the same way I did in that Morono fight. It shows everything was off as I've never fought like that again. The pain of coming up short on the world stage and being released has well and truly stoked a fire in the Balimina Bruiser. He said, I understand. That I was thrown to the wolves and at the time I was. But out of it has grown a wolf. Standing between McKee and his first octagon triumph is Switzerland's Angelusa, who has gone 1-1 one, one in his two outings in the promotion. As he does with all of his opponents, the soft, spoken and cerebral McKee has the utmost respect for the last ninja. He's done some good work, he's durable, he's explosive and he's good at what he's good at, McKee said. He doesn't have any major holes in his game. But what I do know for a fact is I'm better and I'm more dangerous and have more skills. I'm very good at winning fights. I plan a doesn't work, I always have a plan B, C, D, E, F right the way down to Z. I know I have so many tools to win this fight. Whether it's a knockout or submission or decision, I really don't care. I'm coming there to win. McKee will be under enormous pressure to prove the UFC matchmakers were right to give him a second chance at the big time. But he welcomes the high stakes and the possibility of inspiring kids in Northern Ireland to continue following their dreams in the face of adversity. He said, I feel like this is my chance to shine. I know what you mean with the sense of the word pressure and I do get that. But I relish pressure. If there is no pressure, then nothing matters. Without pressure, why do we all do it? I'm really excited to show all the kids in Ireland that should it not go right the first time, you get up and go again. You can do everything you and better.